people, welcome to my channel. I'm Kapana from Kapana the Blog and thank you for choosing me. Now if you haven't clicked on the subscribe button and you want to see more beauty, natural hair, business and social media tips, then click on the subscribe button down below. Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn a basic date night look into something more defined, long lasting and completely fabulous. So I received four beautiful Mina Cosmetics products from the people at Beauty Bulletin. So a quick shout out to them and thank you for trusting me to do this review. If you want to see how I transform a basic look into something like this, then definitely keep watching. So the one thing that stuck out for me about Mina is that their products are super affordable and super fabulous. So they're untrained, the colors pop and the tools and textures are beautiful and worth it. So their products range at about 150 or less in South Africa. So I'm looking forward to seeing the quality that they can give us for that price range. So the aim of today's review is to use these four products to turn this look up. I know what you're thinking, I've already got makeup on so why would I put on any extra makeup? I want to see if I can use these four products to define my eye, give me a beautifully colored lip and to give my nails a bit of pop. So without further ado, let's do this. Okay, cool. So right now, as you can see, I've got a beautiful little rosy pinkish color in my eyes with a bit of a lighter color in the middle and then I faded it out with a darker color. I'm going to use the one eyeliner on my left side and the one eyeliner on my right side. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be starting off with their pen eyeliner to create a winged eye. I'm going to use this pen from mostly from the center of my eye out first to create my wing and then I'm going to make it thicker using this very same pen. Let's see how well it works. Ooh. It's nice and dark. I can tell you that for sure. So I'm starting from the center of my eye, moving out. It does get quite thick towards the bottom. It is quite a small pen. The length of the pen is literally like less than a centimeter, but it definitely does go on quite beautifully and gets quite thick towards the end. And I must say, it's got a silky finish, like literally quite delicious. It's quite nice and yeah. So I decided to add a little bit more drama giving it a wing literally from the inside all the way to the outside and I it's got such a beautiful silky finish I'm actually quite surprised look okay I will give this pen eyeliner by Mina five thumbs up five out of five literally and the reason why is because it has such a beautiful silky finish the pen can be used from the tip all the way to the bottom and I just love the finish it's so dark and it's so silky when you're done when it dries it's, it's literally like a silky finish I love it I cannot complain at all let me know what you guys think about this finish if you love it if you don't love it give me your comments below Okay, so on my other eye, I'm going to be using the Kajal Liner. This is more of an intense, creamier formulation and it should give you a very beautiful, intense look with that cream effect, which is extremely different from the pen liner, which is defined and silky. So let's give it a go. So the best way to use this is to use it at an angle. You can use it above and below on your waterline. is more creamier and this is more of like a dark gray color one thing I can say about it is that it goes on very easily so sexy So because it is so creamy and I don't want such a defined line on my waterline, I am going to use a brush just to blur it out. 
just to um, fade it in just a little bit. Because it is so creamy, you can put it on and then actually use a brush to like spread it out and um, just fade it into the makeup that you currently have, which is something that I actually really like about it at the moment. Okay, so I've put the Kajal on this eye and you can see that they are definitely very, very different. If you want to go for a silky finish, very clean lines, very, very good for winged liners, then you'll definitely want to try their pen liner. If you want to go for something intense but softer on the line, so more slightly smoky and if you want to blend it in, then I'd go for the premier intense color that the Kajal gives you. So now I'm going to finish off my look. I think I'm going to go for the more intense, defined eyeliner, and I'll be back to finish off my lips. Okay guys, so I am back, and I've definitely chosen the pen liner to finish off this look. I love how defined it is, and this, I think, is definitely worth the drama. Loving it. So now it's time for me to finish off this look with a long-lasting matte lipstick. Tip for a date, you want lipstick that does not move all night. The last thing you want to do is keep reapplying your lipstick and having it moving all over your face. Okay guys, so now it's time for me to finish off the look by completing my lips. I'm going to be using their long lasting lipstick with their applicator in the color 502, starting with a beautiful soft berry lip liner. Okay, so the lip liner is slightly darker than the lipstick, but they go well together. I'm going to be using the Mina 502 Long Lasting Lipstick. It goes on as a liquid and finishes off beautiful and matte, which is one thing that I really love. If you're going to have a long lasting lipstick, it definitely has to be matte. So I'm going to be using the applicator to do this, starting from the center, from the cupid's bow, moving out. I love the color of this lipstick, it is really cute, especially with the rest of my eye look. It does complete the look very beautifully. Okay, so while I wait for it to dry, one thing that I do wish they had, especially with the applicator, is that I wish that it was slightly angled. The fact that it's completely straight makes it slightly more difficult to put it on, but other than that, I like that it does come with an applicator. It does make it easier for it to go on, especially since it is so liquidy. Okay, so now that the lipstick is now dry and has that beautiful matte finish, I definitely do love it. The color is going nowhere. So for a date night where you'll be having either slush puppies at the movies or a drink at a restaurant, this is a great lipstick to wear because it won't budge, which will make sure that you have a beautiful look all night through. The eyeliner, I love it. It has a silky finish. It does not smudge at the top of my eyelid and it has a silky finish, super defined, which is great for a winged eye. So for the lipstick, I'd give it maybe three and a half thumbs up out of five. And the reason why is because the applicator could be angled and make it easier to apply. But once it's on your lips, it is absolute perfection and I love it. So the final part of this look is the nail polish. You do not want to go on a date with crusty nails. So I used the Mina nail polish in the color 102 and it's such a cute color. I use it on my one hand and I didn't use it on the other. And if I wanted a date night look, I'd definitely go with this hand over the other. If I didn't have this nail polish on, I'd probably hide my nails. Having a beautiful soft color is always a go. It's always a must and I love it. I put it on, I would, 
definitely put on more than one layer. I had to put on three layers to get this look. But once all the layers are on, it's such a pretty color. I really love it and it has a bit of that glow afterwards. So I definitely love the color. This is the color and these are the nails that don't have the color. So if I was to rate the nail polish out of five, I'd give it also a three and a half, only because you have to apply it a number of times to get the color that you want. But the color is definitely, it's not a letdown. Once you have applied all the colors, it's beautiful and it's cute. So now that we've used all the products, I definitely think that this look has been turned all the way up. I love the nail color. It is such a beautiful color. I love the lips and the eyeliner is definitely my favorite out of all the products that I tried today. I would definitely go for this look over the look that I started off with because my eyes are more defined. My lips are a beautiful color which is matte and lasts long. And I would definitely go for the nail polish over basic no nail color nails. Alrighty guys, so no video is done without selfies. Let's do this.